Hi everyone, today I will be discussing a fungal infection, specifically tinea. So an introduction, the most common fungal skin infection is tinea, which is also called ringworm because of its characteristic appearance of a ring or rounded tunnel under the skin. Ringworm goes by many names. The medical terms are tinea or dermatophytosis. Tinea infection can affect any part of the body, including the head, the body, the groin, the feet, and the nails, and are usually named for the location of infection in the body. Ringworm is caused by a fungus that eats keratin, a protein found in skin, hair, and nails. Dermatophytes are a unique group of fungi that infect the keratinous tissue and are able to invade the hair, the skin, and the nails of a living host. Dermatophytosis is an infection caused by the fungi from two genera, namely the microsporum, the trichophyton, and the epidermophyton. Infections caused by these organisms are referred to as tinea, which, which precedes the Latin name for the site for which they involve. For example, Tinea capitis is a dermatophyte infection involving the scalp. For the pathogenesis, injured skin, scars, and burns are the factors that predispose the host skin to infection. The increased environmental humidity is a factor favoring the fungal invasion. So a person can get tinea infection through direct contact with infected humans, animals, or inanimate objects. The dermatophyte, which are a unique group of fungi that infect the keratinous tissue, invades the uppermost non-living keratinized layer of the skin, which is the stratum corneum. Then, the dermatophyte produces the enzyme keratinase, in which the keratinase is a particular class of extracellular proteolytic inducible enzyme with the capability of degrading insoluble keratin substrates. Then, keratinase catalyzes degradation of keratin proteins in the skin. This results to scaling of the skin, such as in between the toes, or also known as maceration. A dermatophyte then burrows deeper into the skin and invades the hair follicle, causing breaking of the hair shafts leading to alopecia or loss of hair. Then, the keratinocytes release inflammatory cytokines in reaction to the dermatophyte antigen. The local in, and there happens a local inflammatory response in the skin. And these are pruritus or itchiness, erythema or redness, induration or swelling, and heat. Then, the dermatophyte moves outwards away from the site of infection to new areas around the initial site. This leads to a pink, a classic pink to red ring lesion with central healing. So the risk factors for tinea, we have living in warm climate, having contact with people or pets who have tinea, using communal baths or locker rooms, having poor hygiene, depressed immune system, doesn't have good nutrition, and athletic activity that causes skin tears, abrasions, or trauma, such as wrestling, judo, or soccer. So, we mentioned a little while ago that tinea infection are named depending on its location in the body. So, these are the types of tinea infection. First, the tinea capitis, affecting the scalp, the tinea barbe affecting the beard and the mustache, the tinea corporis affecting the body, the tinea cruris in the groin area are also known as jock itch, the tinea pedis affecting the foot, and the tinea onjum affecting the toenails. First, let's go over tinea capitis. Tinea capitis, or ringworm of the scalp, is a fungal infection of the scalp and the hair shafts. It is caused by one of the several varieties of mold-like fungi called the dermatophyte. The fungi attack the outer layer of the skin on the scalp and the hair shaft. The causative pathogen is the trichophyton tonsurans. It is the most common 
the microsporum canis, and the microsporum ordinae. So these are the pictures of tinea capitis. For the clinical manifestations of tinea capitis, we have oval scaling erythematous patches, small papules or pustules on the scalp, brittle hair that breaks easily or patchy alopecia. The causes, infection of the scalp by dermatophytes is usually the result of a person-to-person -person transmission. The organism remains viable on combs and brushes and couches and sheets for long periods. For the risk factors, we have age because ringworm of the scalp is most common in toddlers and school-age children. Exposure to other children because outbreaks of a ringworm are common in schools and child care centers where the infection easily spreads through close physical contact. And exposure to pets because a pet such as a cat or a dog can have the infection without showing any signs. And children can get the infection by touching or petting the animal. For the complications of tinea capitis, in some cases, ringworm of the scalp causes a perion, which is a severe, painful inflammation of the scalp. It appears as a soft, raised swelling that drain pus and cause thick yellow crusting on the scalp. Instead of breaking, the hair falls out or can be easily pulled out. Perion may be caused by an overly vigorous reaction to the fungus and can lead to permanent scars and hair loss. The treatment for tinea capitis, we have Drusrefulvin for four to six weeks or Terbinafine Lanisil for three to four weeks. And also shampoo hair twice weekly with selenium sulfide shampoo for two weeks. The next type of tinea, we have tinea barbe. Tinea barbe is the name used for infection of the beard and the mustache areas of the face with a dermatophyte fungus. It is less common than tinea capitis and generally affects only adult men. The cause of tinea barbe is most often a zoophilic animal fungus. The trichophyton verrucosum, which originates from the cattle, and the trichophyton mentagrophyte var equinum from the horses. In the clinical manifestations for tinea barbe, uh, it most often affects the farmers and is due to direct contact with an infected animal. It is rarely passed from one person to another. It is usually very inflamed with red lumpy areas, pustules, and crusting around the hairs or perion. The hairs can be easily pulled out, but surprisingly, it is not excessively itchy or painful. The causes of tinea barbe, it is caused by several dermatophytes, including zoophilic and anthropophilic organisms. However, zoophilic dermatophyte infections occur more commonly. Frequently, uh, animals such as cattle, horses, cats, and dogs constitute the source of infection. For the risk factors, we have uh, sex because men are affected almost exclusively by tinea barbe because the disease involves the bearded areas of the face and the neck. And age, because hair appears on the face at puberty. Therefore, tinea barbe may occur almost exclusively in, ad in older adolescent and adult males. For the complications of tinea barbe, we have Staphylococcus aureus superinfection and perion. For the treatment, we have oral uh, we have topical antifungal agents for mild cases, and usually it is treated by oral antifungal medicines, including terbinafine and itraconazole. The next type of tinea we have tinea corporis. It is a superficial fungal infection of the skin that affects any part of the body. It is predominantly caused by the dermatophyte fungi of the genera Trichophyton and Microsporum. The anthropophilic species Trichophyton rubrum is the most common causative agent of tinea corporis, including New Zealand. Other species that may cause tinea corporis include Trichophyton interdigitale, 
trichophytontonsurans, which is secondary to Cumulus hapitis or skin-to-skin -skin contact, the Microsporum canis from cats and dogs, and less commonly, other zoonot zoonotic species, including Trichophyton verrucosum from cattle, Trichophyton ictinum from horses, and Trichophyton irinusae from the hedgehogs. The clinical manifestations of Pina corporis, it, began, it begins with a red macule, which spreads to a ring of papules or vesicles with central clearing. Lesions are found in cluster, and many spread to the hair, scalp, and nails. Pruritus is a common complaint. The causes are human to human, because ringworm often spreads by direct skin-to-skin -skin contact with an infected person. Animal to human, because you can contract ringworm by touching an animal with the ringworm. It can spread while petting or grooming dogs or cats. It's, are, it's also fairly common in cows. Object to human. It's possible for ringworm to spread by contact with objects or surfaces that an infected person or animal has recently touched or rubbed against, such as clothing, towels, a bedding, and linens, combs, and brushes. And soil to human. In rare cases, the ringworm can spread to humans by contact with infected soil. Infection would most likely occur only from prolonged contact with highly infected soil. For the risk factors, we have living in warm climate, have close contact with an infected person or animal, sharing clothing, bedding or towels with someone who has a fungal infection, participating in sports that feature skin-to-skin -skin contact such as wrestling, wearing tight or restrictive clothing, having a weak immune system. The complications for tinea corporis. Tinea corporis may recur if therapy does not result in complete eradication of the organism, such as when patients stop applying topical therapy too soon, or if the organism is resistant to the antifungal agents used. The infection may occur if a reservoir, such as an infected male or hair follicle, is present. Many, if not most, adult patients with tinea corporis also have tinea pedis and unzium, which should be treated. The treatment for tinea corporis, we have lo for local infections, topical antifungal cream once or twice daily, for example, cotrimazole lotrimin, iconazole cetazole, cetoconazole nizoral. For extensive infections or concomitant tinea corporis or immunosuppressant conditions, for example, active neoplasm, Oral antifungal medications, for example, fluconazole desulfan for two to four weeks, etraconazole for one week, and terbinafine for two weeks. The next type of tinea, we have tinea cruris or jack itch. Jack itch or tinea cruris is a fungal infection that causes a red, itchy rash in warm, moist areas of the body. The rash often affects the groin and the inner thighs and may be shaped like a ring. Jack itch gets its name because of its com because it's common in athletes, and it's common in people who sweat a lot and those who are overweight. The organisms that cause jack itch thrive in damp, close environments. Jack itch is caused by a fungus that spreads from person to person, or from sharing contaminated towels or clothing. It is often caused by the same fungus that causes a pig's foot, the Trichophyton rubrum. For the clinical manifestations, it begins with a small red scaling patches, which spreads to form circular elevated plaques. It is very prolific. Clusters of pustules may be seen around the borders. The causes, it is caused by a fungus that spreads from person to person or from sharing contaminated towels or clothing. It's often caused by the same fungus that causes athlete's foot because the infection often spreads from the feet to the groin because the fungus can travel on the hands or on a towel. The risk factors are male, teen or young adult, wearing tight underwear, those who are overweight, those people who sweat heavily, 
those who have a weakened immune system, and those who have diabetes. For the complications of Pina cruri, complications are infrequent since chalk itch is a self-limited condition. But rarely, the rash may spread past the groin onto the thighs and in the genitals. Secondary skin infection from scratching or rubbing can uncommonly deepen, causing cellulitis or abscess formation. For the treatment of pina cruris, you have local infections, topical antifungal cream once or twice daily, for example, for trimazole or trimin, iconazole spectazole, and ketoconazole nizoral. For extensive infections or concomitant pina cruris or immunosuppressant conditions, for example, active neoplasm, oral antifungal medications, for example, fluconazole deflucan for two to four weeks, metoconazole for one week, and terbinafine for two weeks. Also educate patients to avoid wearing clothing that is tight over the groins, and patients should pat dry skin folds thoroughly after bathing and use separate towels for groin and other body parts. The next, the next type of pinia we have pinia pedis, or also known as athlete's foot. Pinia pedis is the term used for a dermatophyte infection of the soles of the feet and the interdigital spaces. It is most commonly caused by a trichophyton rubrum. A dermatophyte, initially endemic only to small region of Southeast Asia and in parts of Africa and Australia. It is a fungal infection that usually begins between the toes. It commonly occurs in people whose feet have become very sweaty while confined within tight fitting shoes. For the clinical manifestations, soles of one or both feet have scaling and mild redness with maceration in the toe webs. And more acute infections may have clusters of clear vesicles and dusty base. Uh, the causes. Uh, damp socks and shoes and warm, humid conditions favor the organism's growth. Athlete's foot is contagious and can be spread by contact with an infected person or from contact with contaminated surfaces, such as towels, floors, and shoes. Uh, the risk factors are men, frequently wearing of damp socks and tight-fitting shoes, sharing of mats, rugs, bed linens, clothes, or shoes with someone who has a fungal infection, and walking barefoot in public areas where the infection can spread, such as locker rooms, saunas, swimming pools, communal baths, and showers. The complications, we have secondary cellulitis, lymphagitis, pyoderma, and, ev and even osteomyelitis can result from mycotic infection of the feet including pina pedis. These complications are more frequently seen in patients with conditions such as chronic edema, immunosuppression, hemiplegia, and paraplegia, and diabetes. A treatment for pina pedis you have for local infections and a fungal cream once or twice daily, uh, clotrimazole or trimin, iconazole, spectazole, ketoconazole, nizoral. For extensive infections or concomitant pina pedis, you have immune we have oral antifungal medications, for example, uh, fluconazole, reflucan for two to four weeks, metoconazole for one week, and terbinafine for two weeks. Also educate patients to put on socks before the underwear to avoid cross-contamination to the groin. Also educate to either dispose old shoes or treat them with antifungal powder to prevent reinfection and also educate them to wear protective footwear at communal pools and tubs. The next type of pinia, we have the pinia undium, uh, affecting the toenails, or also known as onychomycosis. Pinia undium is a common type of fungal infection. It is called onychomycosis. The fungus infects the fingernails and more commonly the, the toenails. The causative agent is trichophyton rubrum, which invades the nail bed and the underside of the nail plate, beginning at the hyponychium and then migrating proximally through the underlying nail matrix. It's more common in men, older adults, and people who have diabetes, psoriasis, peripheral vascular disease, or other health problem that weakens the immune system. 
For the clinical manifestations of dinia undrum, we have nails thicken, tumble easily, and lock luster. The whole nail may be destroyed, and if untreated, it can result in pain, loss of balance, and candida infection. The causes are it occurs from overgrowth of fungi in, under, or on the nail. It, uh, the, the fungi thrive in warm, moist environments, so this type of environment can cause them to naturally overpopulate. Fungi that are already present in the body can cause nail infection. So if you have come contact with a, someone else who has a fungal infection, you may have contracted it as well. Fungal infections affect the toenails more commonly than fingernails, slightly, because the toes are usually confined to shoes where they're in a warm, moist environment. For the risk factors, we have having another fungal infection, such as athlete's foot, having a sweaty feet, sharing nail clippers with a person who has a fungal infection, swim often, walking barefoot in damp areas such as locker rooms, uh, using communal or shared showers, and wearing of artificial nails. For the complications, a severe case of nail fungus can be painful and may cause permanent damage to the nails, and it may lead to other serious infections that may spread beyond the feet. If you have a suppressed immune system due to medication, diabetes, or other conditions. If you have diabetes, you may have reduced blood circulation and nerve supply in the feet. Also, you are at greater risk of a bacterial skin infection or cellulitis. So any, any relatively minor injury to the feet, including a nail fungal infection, can lead to a more serious complication. The treatment for tinea undrium we have oral antifungal medications for 12 weeks. Example, itraconazole and terbinafine with or without concomitant topical cyclopyrox, olamine, nail lacquer, or penlock. And nail avulsion in which part or all of the nail is torn away or removed from the nail bed and may be indicated either surgically or chemically using a 40 to 50% urea compound. For the diagnosis for tinea, uh, we have physical examination in which a thorough history and physical examination is often sufficient to diagnose tinea. The classic lesion is an erythematous raised scaly ring with a central clearing. Multiple lesions may be present. The severity of the infection can range from mild scaly lesions to erythematous exudative lesion characteristic of superimposed bacterial infection. Next is the microscopy or the potassium hydroxide TOH stain. It is a commonly used method for diagnosing tinea because it is inexpensive, easy to perform, and has high sensitivity. The scrapings from the lesions are placed in a drop of potassium hydroxide and examined under a microscope for the presence of a fungal hyphae. Next, we have the ultraviolet light or the Woods lamp. Normally, ultraviolet light is not useful in the diagnosis of tinea with the exception of two species, a microsporum canis and odinae. Although both species flourish blue-green under a wood slump, both species are uncommon causes of tinea infections. A wood slump may be used to differentiate between erythrasma caused by Corinibacterium minutissimum, which flourishes coal red, from tinea crudis, which is non-fluorescent. And the culture which is also known as fungal culture, can be performed as a confirmatory test result if a potassium hydroxide stain are inconclusive. Hair and or scrapings are extracted from areas and are placed on a subrod medium. Fungal culture is more specific than a potassium hydroxide stain, but can take up to three weeks to become positive.
for the nursing diagnosis, we have acute pain related to peripheral nerve damage, deficient knowledge regarding skin care regimen, disturbed body image related to lesions and skin structure changes. We have impaired skin integrity related to the damage to the structure of the dermis layer, anxiety related to the disease process, and risk for infection. A prognosis for tinea, ringworm can be cured with an appropriate treatment. Ringworm of the skin typically resolves after two to three weeks of treatment, while cases of a ringworm of the scalp or nails may require treatment for a few months. Complications are rare and can include a secondary bacterial skin infection or a widespread fungal infection, which is extremely rare and more likely to occur in individuals with suppressed immune systems. And that would be all. Thank you so much.